right, let's talk about audio workflow in Final Cut 10. Dot four. So this is a typical edit I usually would do in Premiere, um, has to do with lots of audio post-production that's needed, interviews and voiceovers and music and effects, and I usually would do that in Premiere. But Premiere doesn't really work on my uh, MacBook Pro here, and I actually like editing in Final Cut 10 a bit more nowadays. Also has to do with effects and transitions. Anyways, so what you shouldn't do is put all your effects, your plugins, your equalizers onto the clips here in uh, Final Cut in the project. So that is especially true if you use third-party plugins like Isotope, Neutron 2 or something, or even Voice Denoiser, your system gets not usable, um, especially with a lot of clips. I have like 62 here um, that needed, uh, or that needs like treatment equalizer. I can't show you anything from the footage and stuff like that because it's client work and NDA and stuff like that. But I want to talk about this typical project and how you would uh, use plugins and how you could uh, do your all your post production. So um, plugins here. First things you always should uh, like set up your roles. So this is all dial dialogue. This is like a I'm running around um, with a guy. He does interviews and talks to the camera. He has a laugh or like a shotgun mic. Then there's music and there's like atmospheric stuff that's camera sound and stuff like that and even uh, some like little transition sounds I have here. So I set this up, this is dialogue, this is music, this is sound effects and then I have just cam sound. And especially when you show like audio lanes, uh, stuff gets a little bit more organized and clean and what you do is when you are finished with your edit you select all go to new compound clip master yeah maybe something like that yep and you get a compound clip like this and if you go to the rolls uh, bin or whatever it's called column and open up the audio lanes you have dialogue music effects sound and now you could apply voice master that's my compressor and my equalizer then i have like a music master that is um just little you know to make room for the for the dialogue for the voice and the music and a little compressor so the the volume is nice and easy and even and yeah that's that's basically it now i could actually instead of the eq and compressor of the system i could use isotope but then again i did get some crash reports and the system gets a little bit unstable um, but then again i like this plugin so I really, because it's such a nice quick start. I have a preset here. It's such a nice um, plugin. So, as you can see, I have like dynamic EQ, and I actually can set it that it analyzes the um, sound and finds like frequencies that are too harsh or not pleasant and uh, even can set it to dialogue vocals and as you can see now even here system gets a little bit um, slow so I'm not quite sure if it's the plugin or the final cut that has the issue and yeah and you have a compressor limiter and it really sounds nice and what I always do is a master for the whole project. I'm using the PSP Audio 
limiter, but you can use the limiter that comes with Final Cut as well. That works fine, but I like this plugin. It sounds just amazing. Going with the gentle, yep, boosts the master and brings the levels all nice and tight and it sounds good. Now it's really <laughs> like brick wall. <laughs> Maybe a bit too much. I'm going for this move preset here and setting it to minus one. Nice and tight mix, but I like it that way. Music and dialogue is now pretty good. Anyways, that's my workflow for right now. Using the audio lanes um, inside a project or like in a mastering situation. To have like submixes, that is actually the traditional way mixes work. Um, using submixes, like in the big theatrical mixes. Anyways, there's another way, but that is a bit too complex, maybe, especially to get this in this video as well. You can actually send stuff from Final Cut to Logic Pro 10, and it works really nice, but there's an issue. I think, not really a bug or something, if you have like change notes and client changes and stuff like that, things get tricky with that because you have to send it to Logic and send it back to Final Cut, but it kind of mixes things down and it could be tricky if you have big changes. I will have a video about that. If you want, let me know in the comments uh, as well at some point. Yeah, anyways. I think that's it. Still not happy. A track mixer would be better. Or like an audio lane mixer that shows up and you put in plugins. Basically this idea, but without having to have a compound clip. Because things get a little bit messy as well. If you have changes, you have to go back. Sometimes the compound clip disappears and stuff like that so this is tricky anyways thanks for watching peace out <laughs>